Books are all around us, what do they say? If you can't read, they're pretty anyway. Bodacious books. Good morning once again, and welcome to Bodacious Books. Thanks for joining me. I had a little bit of a headache this morning, trying to get YouTube to work with me. It told me that I needed to start a channel thing, so I started that, and then it erased my other one, so I re-uploaded last week's video. So yeah, gosh dang, why can't I think of words? What's wrong with me? Alright, let's get right down to it. I have a really good book for us today called What Do You Care What Other People Think? <laughs> what Do You Care What Other People Think? is about an expedition by Richard P. Fenneman to go find a magic stone that would give him psychic powers. A little purple stone, about, about this big. Throughout the book... Mr. Fenneman writes about how there are three stones in the world scattered across the earth. Stone number one. Off the coast of India, in a locked vault underneath the ocean. Stone number two is powering the engines of the International Space Station. You thought it was rocket fuel. Stone number three is owned by a French bicycle maker named Claude. Richard tells of his journey to go find and recover one of these three stones, starting with hiring a diving team to go off the coast of India, dive down, and to recover the stone for him. Turns out, though, that the leader of that diving team knew what that stone was when they found it, and now he quietly controls all of the marketing transactions in the eastern Ukraine. So with that stone tucked away in the eastern Ukraine, the next move for our boy Richie Fenneman was to go up to space, so he decided to co-found SpaceX with Elon Musk and be space pirates to go steal that crystal. I have an inordinate amount of respect for space pirates. In the true spirit of piracy, though, they decided to make the ship out of wood, so by the time it left the atmosphere, it was just a cloud of splinters and cinders. So the International Space Station is still up there in the sky with uh, a little magic stone powering it, thankfully, for all of us down here. But Richard P. Fenneman still needed a stone for his very own. Enter Claude, the bicycle maker. Richard had a contact who told him about the stone, told him about Claude, and that there was one still available. He flew to France and entered the bike shop that Claude owned and began negotiations. After about 20 minutes of Claude just kind of being a jerk, he sold it to him for $1,500. The last thing that Claude said to Richard, though, was this. What do you care what other people think? So there you have it. Richard had his stone. Claude had $1,500. Richard could finally achieve the thing he wanted all along. To open a pet shop and train them psychically to stand on their hind legs. But that's about it for that book. What do you care what other people think? It's all about thought and the processes of the mind and, and wrangling the psychic powers with a little stone. That's not what it's about at all. I highly suggest that you pick this up. It does look like a very good read. It was recommended to me by my a friend of mine, Allie. Uh, thanks, Allie. It's, this is her copy, actually, as well. So, it, whoa, hey, there are, like... I actually opened a book, guys! There are pictures inside this one. Pick it up. It looks sweet. Really, though, I'll try to include a an Amazon link to any books that I that I review for you guys, just in case you're curious, because that actually looks pretty sweet. I'm going to go look at the outside of this book. Wait, no, there are pictures inside of this one. I'm going to go look at the inside of this book, the inside, and basically just look at the pictures, and maybe I can convince myself someday to actually read a book once. Last thing before I do, though, make sure that you write in the comments of this YouTube video books that you want to see me review. Uh, hopefully they're books that I haven't read before, don't know too much about, so I can make it sort of really nothing about the book. But, yeah, if you have a book that you really like, that you want to see me make a total fool of myself trying to guess what it's about or making up a story about it, definitely put it on the, uh, put it on the description, or put it on the comments down below. Thank you, guys. A space shuttle. Wait. Hey, there's actually a space shuttle in it.
It's not made of wood, though. O-ring ice water. There are so many pictures. This is beautiful. Ooh, a drawing. The cold facts. What did this guy even do with his life? This looks awesome, except I don't understand any of it. I don't understand a single thing in this entire book. Ooh, there are pictures of faces. I can get behind that. I know what faces are. I don't know why he drew them, but... Oh, taking art lessons at the age of 44. You're never too old to do something that you want to do. 